Hey guys, this is Elizabeth Seal and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you some of my old sketchbooks. This is from 2016 and this one from 2017 if I remember well. So let's start. In this sketchbook I used to draw very little, like um, doing a lot of sketches in a page. I was experimenting I guess. I used to draw with polychromos, Faber Castell polychromos, uh, ink. Yeah, see <laughs> I used to do a lot of little sketches, faces and uh, characters in a page. I used to draw very little. These are all characters of mine that they were inspired in the Second World War. I was very interested in uh, World War II. I enjoyed to draw uniforms and all that kind of stuff. Uh, here you can see some sketches of nature, trees, some studies of hands. I was playing with shapes here, like uh, in these ones. I also was experimenting with colors. I did the same here. This is a fan art of uh, Stranger Things. Again, this, these were my old characters inspired on the world. Studies, I guess lot of different sketches mm, playing with shapes again more old characters I used to draw a lot with pencils color pencils I think this is a uh, watercolor check and Sally and more sketches and unfinished 11 from Stranger Things more of my old characters Daenerys from Game of Thrones I don't remember the name of this character This is a fan art of a Guillermo del Toro series called uh, The Strain uh, It was a very nice uh, series I really enjoyed the story, the characters and it's based on a comic book more random sketches, more than Aries. I was playing with ink here, ink washes. This is an old fan art of Pan's Labyrinth. This is Ophelia and the Pale Man. Don't know if you watched that movie from Guillermo del Toro. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth is one of my favorite movies. I really love the movie. More random sketches. I think this is Cersei from Game of Thrones. More from Game of Thrones. More random sketches. I used to do a lot of sketches in one page. Now I, I don't do that anymore. Now I do more like a whole illustration in a page or kind of. I used to do that all the time. More random sketches. I think this is watercolor, black watercolor. I was experimenting with ink here. I tried to use a more realistic style. Color line, random painter, I guess. Unfinished molder and scoy. <laughs> Remember X Files, guys? I used to be a very big fan of that series uh, random punk girl unfinished stuff pennywise x files i think this these drawings here are from 2016 inktober it was my first time participating in inktober i guess but like very little very uh, just random stuff 
more random pencil sketches, Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow, Chuck and Pumpkins. Yeah, these are all Inktobers, super old Inktobers. Snape and Lily, more Harry Potter, random animals, more from Inktober. Yeah, I remember these characters, uh, I really like this one from which? Uh, Cedric, Lord Cedric, yeah. And this is Ilion. I don't know guys if you ever watch Witch or read the comics. Of course, little dead girl, they know. I think these are from October. Hermione, the Powerpuff Girls. Sally, Jinx from Teen Titans, random sketches. I was very inspired by history, Victorian era. Yeah, I used to watch a lot of period dramas from those times, and I I really enjoyed them. More October's. Victor and Emily from Corpse Pride, Terra from Teen Titans, this is Luna from Harry Potter, I think this one is uh, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, uh, my version of Coppola's Dracula, and this is Matilda, Matilda what's her name, what's her name, from this movie. Uh, Leon, that, that's, a, that's a great movie. This is Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond, which I'm very fan of. <laughs> oh, the Dwarf Scissor Hands, of course. Uh, more runners. I'm writing Victorian sketches. <laughs> yeah, you can tell because of the, the clothes, the fashion in general. More from Tim Burton's Sweeney Too, remember that movie slash musical or Eleven from Stranger Things when she got that dark face, I guess. Yeah. I think this this is not a grey paper. These are this is not a model skin. This is I used to uh, buy this brand and it's not very suitable for watercolor or um, anything but pencils and ink. These are Sam and Dean from Supernatural. I really love that series, at least from the season 1 to season 5, because then I just got lost <laughs> in the plot. And I lost interest uh, on the plot, so yeah, I remember those times when they were just hunting bad stuff and monsters and uh, ghosts and those kind of things, but yeah, I feel very nostalgic uh, talking about Supernatural, I was very very fan of this series. I had a great time watching those seasons, the old seasons. More Jack and Sally. My style back then was very influenced by Tim Burton's style. Some old sketches, more random stuff. This one here is a portrait of my boyfriend. This is a self-portrait, I think. Random faces. Messy page. <laughs> I was practicing a lot with uh, the polychromos here, I think. Cemetery ghost. More fashion from Victorian times. Yeah. Playing with different color palettes here here I was playing a lot or more like experimenting 
using Faber Castell polychromos and watercolor. I remember this. This was the first time I was using the Kuritaki brush pen. Yeah, I remember that. And here I was uh, using the Copic markers for my my very for the very very first time, and the brush pen too. I finished eleven, and that's it for this. Uh, 2016 a sketchbook. Let's see the other one. Okay, let's see this oldie. I decorated it. The first page is more than the other one. I think here I was um, like experimenting with the colorized pencils, the Prismacolor colorized. So, some random girls. Uh, yeah, this is Copic and Colorize Pencils, this is Copic and Ink. Here I was uh, playing with the Faber-Castell bead pens, I think, because I remember my boyfriend uh, got this for me, uh, for my birthday or something like that, and I was... Uh, playing with the different grey tones. In this year I also used to put a lot of drawings in the same page and I used to draw very 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 little. Um, I think I, <clears throat> I like this sketchbook more because I think it's more similar than my style right now um, even the, the colors um, the way I ink this is Alice another version of Alice um, Random Vampire Girl uh, this is my boyfriend I, I use him as reference Kind of 2017 summary, uh, the stuff I did in that year, my um, accomplishments, I guess. Here I, I think I took part of a Disney challenge challenge uh, on Instagram because I think I was drawing all the Disney classic Disney movies. Yeah. Snow White, uh, Cinderella. Yeah, that was the challenge. Uh, Peter Pan and Wendy here. Uh, the, the Sleeping Beauty. Uh, Little Mermaid. Uh, Aladdin. Uh, this is Belle. Uh, Scar. More random sketches, but um, I like this page. I like the composition, the sketches. I like that some of them are inked, are and others are just in pencil. Uh, here, this is watercolor. This is Copic. Like it's a mixture of um, techniques and materials that I, I quite enjoy. Pocahontas, um, these are Woody and Jessica from the story. <coughs> I don't remember her name, uh, Smeralda. <laughs> well, my favorite from all Disney movies, Mulan, Tarzan, Helga from Atlantis. I really love that movie, but I don't know why no no one talks about that Disney movie. It's great. Um, Elsa from Frozen. Uh, these two are from 
Oh, that Pixar movie. <laughs> uh, Monster Inc. Yeah. <clears throat> Jack Sparrow, of course. It's fun, right? A lot of Disney movies here. <laughs> uh, Merida. Random sketches. I think this this is watercolor. Yeah. Uh, Tangled. And more, of course, Tim Burton. Fun arts. Lydia, Emily. More from Tim Burton's movies. Some metal airs here. Alice in Wonderland. Inspired of Tim Burton's version. Black Cat. I remember I did this um, the sketches while I was at Starbucks back then. This is Joan. Uh, I remember her name in Spanish, but not in <laughs> in French, I guess. Uh, Juana de Arco. Juan de Arc, I guess. It's in English. But it's ruined because uh, I use markers in the other page. Yeah. Random marker sketches inspired on Victorian times, as you can see with the dresses and fashion in general um, more from Tim Burton's movies this is a uh, Frank and Winnie's movie remember that movie it's one of my favorites from Tim Burton random nature sketches I was on vacation with my family if I remember well yeah, nature creature and more nature inspire sketches and with ink and watercolor even if paper wasn't the best paper for watercolor uh, this is a self-portrait inspire of nature on that place when I went on vacation more random sketches, animal sketches, Nancy from the craft, random stuff I used to draw sometimes. It is nice to draw things from time to time and not only characters <laughs> like there are a lot of other things to draw too, but well, you know me. I like to draw a lot of characters. Witchy stuff here. More random sketches. Random pencil and watercolor sketches. Yeah. These two are from Cold Spray. Um, this page is so from Cold Sprite movie Emily and Victor Random stuff Some random superheroes here From Young Justice, that's the name of the DC show <clears throat> Yeah A portrait of Lovecraft, my favorite writer if you didn't know, random girl inspired on, I think it's Norse mythology, mythology. Random stuff. Some dark and witchy sketches here. Uh, this is all graphite pencils, I think. I. I think it's strange, I never use graphite pencils because I don't really like them. They are very uh, dirty to use. 
they are very dirt. They're not my favorite to sketch. That's why I use the polarized pencils. But well, I was experimenting. These are all sketches inspired of Vikings and warriors, I think. Not Vikings, warriors, I think. More like Vikings. I don't know why I said Vikings. Some random sketches. Mm. Fantasy creatures. Yeah. Mulders and Scully, Chuck and Sally, Random Guy. Hmm. I think this sketch was as an was an excuse to use uh, a metallic um, pen or something like that. Yeah. And I think um, Creepy Mermaid. More pencil sketches. More. Um, I was experimenting with my own style here using a more realistic style yeah i'm not very sure about this <laughs> uh, more sketches these two are from dracula yeah this is dracula and mina but this uh, this is pencil pencil on very light waterfall, I guess. Random stuff. I was using a lot of different medias here too, like pencils, pens. Um, I think this is the Stabilo, Stabilo pens. Uh, watercolor, pencils, inks. Colorase hmm, a mixture of materials. This is a fan art of Interview with a Vampire, uh, written by Anne Rice. I love the movie and the book, um, Bestat and Lois. I really love those characters. This is another Nancy from the graph. These are random vampires. Random pages. This is made with a ball, a ball paint, ball point pen, I guess. Yeah, this is a ball point pen, ink and watercolor. I did this with the brush pen. Graphite, graphite pencils. Yeah, I, a mixture of materials again. Random sketches with my favorite color, purple and violet. <laughs> I just love all those violet and purple variations. Besides, of course, black and blue. Those are my favorite colors ever. More random sketches, link, pencil, more random stuff. I don't know what kind of pencil is this. It's not a polychromo and not polarized. I don't know what kind of pencil is this. More random sketches, old characters, playing with ink. I like this page. I like this blue. I think it's a polychromo. Yeah, it has to be. I think it is. Random boots. Gothic boots. Yeah. I love this kind of boots. I own some of these and 
I really, really love them. <laughs> Random Gothic Girl. I love this violet. As you can see here, um, it's a big, it's a big mess of stuff. <laughs> these pages, yeah. But it's fun to see, I guess. You tell me later <laughs> in the comments if you like to see my old stuff, my old sketches. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these kind of videos. I enjoy watching other artists uh, showing their their old artworks. So I think it's fun. You can see how much um, they grew as an artist. Um, how different their styles are now than it was back then. I think it's very interesting to see that evolution. I like this girl. I really love this combination of black and white violet. I love violet. Um, that's we reached the end of the 2017 sketchbook um well guys i hope you enjoy the video and please let me know in the comments what other kind of videos you would like to see because i'm trying to grow on youtube and i like to know your opinion well guys i will see you on my next video Bye.